This is a video for discoverdigitalphotography.com. Just a quick one to show you how to process a false colour infrared image. Um, so in Photoshop elements here, the first thing to note is um, for doing this you need to basically switch the red and blue colour channels round and um, in Photoshop elements it doesn't actually come with a um, channel mixer which you do find in the full version of Photoshop um, but you can download the channel mixer as an add-on so I got a copy here from Elements Village and you can just download that there called Grants Tools and install it following the instructions so first of all it's just I've got my raw file of the infrared photo here so I'm going to open that in Photoshop. So this is a photo that I've taken with an infrared sensitive camera using a 25A red filter to um, let through infrared and a bit of visible red light as well. And I'm going to set the white balance just click on the little white balance dropper tool here on some of the foliage and obviously that's a bit bright there, so it's going to bring the exposure down quite a bit. There we go. And I'm just going to remove the sharpening and the noise reduction. And then click Open Image. There we go, so I've got that open. And then in um, in the full version of Photoshop to get to the um, channel mixer it's quite easy you can just click on adjustments and then it will be channel mixer will be in here um, in Photoshop elements after you've installed the channel mixer you go to um, yeah, the effects panel and then photo effects up here and then on the drop down list here you should have Grant's Tools and then the channel mixer is this one with a little icon like that. So I'm just going to double click on that to open it up. Right, and then here we have the channel mixer. So we want to swap the red and the blue channels. So the red channel, I'm going to put the red to zero and the blue to 100. Oops, on 100. And the green should probably be zero on that as well. And then I'm going to go to the blue channel and put the blue to zero and the red to 100. Oops, there we go. Um, now this is a bit too blue for me and um, I like to give the um, foliage a bit more of a sort of orangey yellow colour. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce the blue a bit more and you can see that starts to bring in a bit of yellow colour. Maybe reduce the green on the blue channel as well and I think that's probably about OK so it's going to tick press OK there and now I'm just going to do a hue saturation adjustment so that, and adjust the hue and I think that looks quite good so it's made the foliage a bit more orange and the sky is more sky and the pavement have become more blue than the sort of purpley colour that they were before. And now the next thing, um, for me, that photo will probably be finished like that. If you prefer it to be a bit more contrasty, um, if we do I'm just pressing Ctrl Shift and C here which is um, the same as edit copy merged and then I'm going to press paste and paste that in um, why we need to copy it is in Photoshop Elements it doesn't have um, curves as an adjustment layer so we need to have a copy of the image to apply the curves to and this is just going to add a bit more contrast to the image so in effects um, and then on the photo effects tab and um, grants tools again I'm going to use the action curves 
just double click on that and I'm going to use an S curve to add more contrast so it's going to click once here to add a point near the top of the curve pull it up a bit to brighten the image and then click again near the bottom of the curve and pull that down to darken the um, darker tones and as you can see that adds quite a bit of contrast to the image it's just sort of a basic S curve it's quite a strong one there and I'm going to put OK on that and as you can see that's quite a lot more contrasty than it was before um, the only other thing that you might want to do is applying a um, local contrast enhancement so for that I'm just going to click on this layer here that we've got copy that and then I'm going to drag it up to the top and then go to filter other high pass and then you want a large amount in the high pass so I'm going to use 100 pixels and then put OK and then if we change the blending mode of this layer to overlay or soft light and you can see it makes quite a big difference I'm just going to drop the opacity of the layer down so it's not quite so strong and that's with and without so it just adds a bit more um, sort of micro contrast to the image using that and um, I think that's about it really so that's how you can create a false color infrared image